Hello, Roman Onigan with you. In the previous lessons, we have considered all possible motive and corrective patterns that are found in the market. In this lesson, we will look again at all these types of waves, but briefly. I hope this helps you to put things in some order in your mind and better understand wave analysis. So let's start. You already know that there are three different types of waves forming an emotive mode. It's impulse, the leading diagonal, and ending diagonal. Also, there are seven types of waves formed in the corrective mode. These are zigzag, flat, double zigzag, triple zigzag, double three, triple three, and triangles. This classification contains all types of waves that exist in the market in terms of wave analysis. Now let's look at each of these waves in more detail and name their key features. Let's start with the waves of the motive mode. To begin with, we will look at the impulse, as this is the most popular and common wave. Impulse consists of five waves and is denoted by numbers, like all waves of a motive mode. The wave formula for impulse is as follows. The first, third, and fifth waves develop in the motive mode, and the second and fourth waves develop in the corrective mode. In fact, impulse is a trim. The most significant and powerful movements in the market take place in the impulse form. Next, we draw a diagram of the leading diagonal. It also consists of five subwaves, which are denoted by numbers. The wave formula of it looks the same as the wave formula of the impulse. The main difference between the leading diagonal and the impulse is that the end of its fourth wave ends in the zone between the ends of waves one and two, and the leading diagonal, or it is sometimes called a wedge, can only be in place of wave one of the impulse or wave A of the zigzag. Let's move on. The third type of wave formed in the motive mode is the ending diagonal. All the waves of the ending diagonal are formed in the corrective mode in contrast to the leading diagonal. The first, third, and fifth waves of the ending diagonal are zigzags, and the ending diagonal can appear only at the place of wave 5 of the impulse or wave C of the zigzag. Very rarely it can appear at the place of wave C of the flat. That is, the ending diagonal is the final wave pattern. It indicates that the previous trend is nearing completion, and soon we will see a correction or a new trend in the opposite direction. We have considered all patterns of the motive mode. Now let's proceed to the waves of the corrective mode. Let's start with the zigzag. The zigzag is the simplest corrective pattern, and it is the most common on the market. The zigzag consists of three subwaves, which are denoted by the letters A, B, and C. Waves A and C are formed in the motive mode, and wave B is corrective. And as a rule, the zigzag is a deep correction in relation to the previous trend. The next pattern we will analyze is the flat. The flat as well as the zigzag consists of three waves which are denoted by the letters A, B, and C. Waves A and B of the flat are corrective, and wave C is formed in the motive mode. Usually wave C takes the form of an impulse, but very rarely it is an ending diagonal. As a rule, the flat is a sideways correction, sometimes long. Now we will analyze the double zigzag. As the name implies, a double zigzag consists of two zigzags connected by a corrective intervening wave. The double zigzag is denoted by the letters W, X, and Y, and all its parts are formed in the corrective mode. It should be remembered that the waves W and Y, as a rule, take the form of simple zigzags, but sometimes these waves themselves can be double or triple zigzags. And another important point, the double zigzag is usually a deep correction in relation to the previous trend. Triple zigzag. The task of the triple zigzag is to form a deep correction in relation to the previous trend. In general, the single and double zigzag usually have the same goal. A triple zigzag is formed when neither single nor double zigzags were able to form a correction of the desired depth. In this case, a triple zigzag comes to the rescue. As the name implies, the triple zigzag consists of three zigzags connected by corrective intervening waves. All waves of this pattern are formed in the corrective mode. The triple zigzag is denoted by the letters W, X, Y, X, X, and Z. The next pattern we will analyze is a double three. The double three consists of two threes, i.e. two waves formed in the corrective mode connected by a corrective intervening wave. The double three is denoted by the letters W, X, and Y. Usually the double three is a shallow correction, which in its depth is about 36% of the previous trend. Also, very often the double three takes the form of a long corrective wave and has a slope against the dominant trend. 
Okay, let's look at the triple three. The triple three consists of five waves. If we consider its structure in more detail, we will see three waves formed in the corrective mode, which connect the intervening waves. The triple three is denoted by the letters W, X, Y, XX, and Z. The task of the triple three is to form a shallow but long corrective wave. Usually the triple three has a slope against the dominant trend. And the last thing we need to consider are triangles. There are two types of triangles, horizontal and skewed. First consider the horizontal triangles. Horizontal triangles can be contracting or expanding. In contracting triangles, intervening lines converge. In expanding triangles, such lines diverge. All triangles consist of five subwaves and are denoted by the letters A, B, C, D, and E. All subwaves of triangles are formed in the corrective mode. Usually triangles form a shallow but long correction in relation to the previous trend. I want to note that triangles are usually easily distinguishable on the chart and the appearance of a triangle in the market often brings a good trading opportunity because after the completion of this pattern, the market skyrockets in the same direction in which it moved before the appearance of the triangle. As for the skewed triangles, the most important thing to remember here is that the generating lines of such triangles always have a slope in the direction of the dominant trend. That is, if a skewed triangle appears on an uptrend, its generating lines will be directed upwards. If the pattern occurs in a downtrend market, then the generating lines will look down. Usually a skewed triangle is formed when the driving forces of the market have great potential and they do not allow the usual sideways pattern to form, but shift it up or down. That is, very often after the completion of the construction of skewed triangles, the market skyrockets in the direction of the slope of the triangle. This property can and should be used in trading. We briefly reviewed all of the waves that are found in the market. If you study all the material that is contained in this course, you will know all the necessary theory of wave analysis. The next step is practice. If you want to memorize these rules as soon as possible, learn how to mark up the real market and trade profitably, you can contact me. I have prepared a very powerful course on wave analysis aimed at the practical part. The course consists of three parts. The first part is the practice of the studied rules of the schematic images of waves. It is not enough to learn the rules, you need to learn how to apply the rules. The second part is the main part of the course. It is aimed at the implementation of real market markings. When you do all the exercises I have proposed and watch all the training videos on market markup, you can mark up any currency pair or instrument like Forex, stocks, cryptocurrency or other markets. The third part of the course is devoted to money management and drawing up trading tactics based on your markings. I will help you to choose individual and convenient trading tactics. The duration of the course is one to two months. I work with all students at an individual pace. After passing my course aimed at the practical part of wave analysis, you will be able to trade profitably in the market. So if you're interested in my offer, you can write me by email or in social networks. Contacts are under this video. Thank you all for your attention. I am very grateful that you were with me. Once again, this has been Roman Onigan with you and see you on the waves of the market.